Let's move down a little bit. I see some fish surfacing on the other side. Oh, a big one just surfaced right here. There goes a bullfrog. They make that little noise. I've never heard that before. I don't know why. And then, there we go. Oh, this is a nice one. Oh, this is a tank. <laughs> that is a tank. Holy cow. Not far from the THP house here. Pond is just behind their house over there, so I don't have to go too far. But got the whopper ploppers on. Gonna try it out and see if we can't catch anything. Caught a few fish the other night, so pretty stoked to see if we can't catch some more tonight. There's Roy and Aaron over there. So I got a yellow whopper plopper and a green whopper plopper. I think I'm gonna start with the green one. Just started! Basically just working these edges as tight as I can. Not that we haven't been catching fish farther out in the, towards the middle, but it seems like the fish have been hanging out on the edges more than anything. My theory is that there, there's a lot of frogs in this little pond here. And it seems like, just my guess is that they probably feed on those frogs quite often. And those frogs will hang out on the, edge of these, the edges of these banks here. And, and uh, when we walk towards the edge, those frogs will just erupt from the bank and swim on the top. So I imagine it's probably the same. <clears throat> there we go, there's one. Really nice one. And blew that up. Oh baby, that's a nice one. <laughs> that is a nice fish. Alright, there we go. Pretty stoked with that one. Gave us a nice show. Blew it up out of the water here, but Let's, uh, let's let him go here. Buddy, there you go. Nice. There he goes. Oh, what a blow up. Yes. Absolutely blew that up. All right, see if we can't get a couple more. And that was with the uh, green whopper plopper there. I think we're gonna move down a little bit. Bring the camera with me here. Don't have much battery life on the main camera. Or I guess the GoPro's the main camera. The big camera, I don't have much battery life on it, so won't be running it too much. I bet I'll be out here a couple more times. This won't be my only time out here. I'll try to come out here more since it's literally just in backyard. Might also try that other pond over there too. If uh, don't get any bites here, just keep things fresh. But I haven't been here that long. Not gonna give up hope on this pond yet. I mean, we caught a nice one in the first couple minutes, so. Sometimes the fish just gotta warm up a little bit. Next half hour or so, they're just gonna be just starting warming up and they'll probably be on fire. Yeah, let's move down a little bit. I see some fish surfacing on the other side. Oh, a big one just surfaced right here. <laughs> there goes a bullfrog. 
They make that little noise. I've never heard that before. That little like, and then there we go. Oh, this is a tank. Oh, baby. Keep him down, keep him down. We're gonna try to flip this one here. Oh, baby. <laughs> Holy moly. There's a tank. That is a tank. Holy cow. Holy moly, look at that. That is a tank of a fish. That is a tank. Okay. Let's give him a little water here. Oh. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, guys, we've got a tank of a fish here. Like I said, he's probably pushing 19 inches right there, but he destroyed it. But I, I want to get him back in the water here before it gets too uh, too, too late here. I want to make sure he survives fine. Look at the, uh... There he goes. That is awesome. That is an awesome fish. See if we can't get another one like that. Again, that was with that green whopper plopper. I had just talked about how there there was a uh, a fish that surfaced right here, and I'm pretty sure that was him. Wow, that was a that was a big one. Yeah, destroyed it. All right, getting about that prime time, I think. Man, I keep on envisioning that bass, that, that last one I just caught, and that was a huge explosion. He fought so hard. I mean, when I first hooked into him, I'm like, oh man, this might be a pond giant. But, I mean, he was a really, really nice one, but not the pond giant that could be in here. There supposedly can be some pretty nice ones in here. The mosquitoes are starting to come out too. Basically, I'm just gonna just continue working my way around the pond. I've I've put a few casts in the middle of this uh, middle of this pond here. I haven't got anything, and I've caught two on the edge. Oh, one just missed it. Oh, he missed it twice. He hit it twice. It didn't look like a big one though. Right on the edge. I'll do it a little slower. Nothing. Oh, there we go. Oh, I just said nothing. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, little guy. There he goes. <laughs> All right. Well, I just said that uh, he's probably too small or, or something like that. Like he wasn't gonna bite it, but right as I said that, boom, grabbed it. I'm pretty sure it's the same fish, and I think he just followed it the entire way. All right, let me grab my camera. I think we might try the other pond. Just, yeah. You know. We'll see, I just saw a fish jump over there. Grab the camera, got the fishing rod. Gonna head over here to this other side of this pond. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Keep on moving. It's like speed fishing, like, kind of like speed scouting. Moving, moving, moving. Kind of hoping for those fresh fish off the first couple casts, two or three casts. 
they don't bite, we're moving. We're running out of time and we'll make sure we give ourselves the best opportunity. There we go. Nice one. Nice one. Yep, he's a nice one. He's fighting good. Yes. Yes. Decent. Not huge. Yep, calm down. Not hooked in the best places. Let's see if we can't get you uh Get you back in the water. One piece here. Right, there's one. There's two. Another nice little fish. Not bad, huh? All right. Let's get you back in the water, big guy. Oops, kind of caught there. Ready? One, two, three. Nice. Number. Three, number three or four. Kind of losing track, but they've been biting on this whopper plopper really good. I mean, you could be catching more possibly with other baits. They get to go a little deeper in the center there, but I mean, who doesn't love top water action? But then just exploding out of the water to get this thing, and just the anticipation of seeing your bait the whole time and not seeing your bait underwater. Um, so it's definitely a lot more fun if it works. Um, and at the moment it's working pretty good, so I think we're just gonna keep it going that way So I caught that fish just right there and uh, Already cast three or four times right there so You'd be like oh, why aren't you just gonna cast right back in there and expect to catch another one? Well again, we're kind of going for fresh new spots Giving ourselves the best opportunity for the time we have That's just my guess though. It's just my opinion. I mean People might actually have other scientific reasons why it could be better. And people could probably make a point that, that if there's a lot of movement in an area that they believe is caused by a fish, they might think there's a lot of food in that area and they might, <laughs> more fish might come to that spot, who knows. Skews are starting to come out though. And I've got shorts on. It's been an awesome evening though. Swisher, loving this whopper plopper. All right, move down about 30 feet. Try another spot. Working a little bit of the center on that cast. This isn't even my pole, this is Jake's pole. But it's working nice. Yep, that line just snapped. <laughs> ah, dang it. So that's gonna do it for the video, uh, I think, today. Absolutely had a blast out here fishing with this whopper plopper and Probably gonna try this again. I mean you guys can comment below if you guys like this kind of pond fishing video If you don't I understand just leave me a comment below and just say hey We'd rather see this or whatever hunting related trapping related. I'll try my best um, But right now, I mean first time ever for me personally fishing a pond I've always fished rivers and lakes and I've always been kind of on the edge with people fishing ponds. Just doesn't seem as fun, but obviously it's to each their own. But tonight I had a blast, absolutely throwing this whopper plopper and just having these bass explode it. And this one's a yellow one. Um, I think I think overall the darker red and black ones do I think a little better job. Um, I don't understand why, but for the most part you can't go wrong with any color. Um, it's more of just the action that draws them in. But obviously if you use a color that looks more like a frog or even like a mouse or whatever swimming, <laughs> the majority of the time it's probably gonna be a frog. And if you can mimic that, then chances are you might increase a little bit of your success. But yeah, that's gonna do it. I mean, obviously it's light out for this camera to see me fine, but this GoPro is just not able to pick them up in the moment. And I'm just getting absolutely murdered by mosquitoes at the moment, so. I appreciate you watching. I love the support as always, and we'll see you on the next video.